Okay, boys and girls, I want to demonstrate for you what reading fluently sounds like and also what reading like Goldilocks means. So I have a book here called The Chocolate Touch and I'm going to read this sentence first fluently and then I'm going to read it in a way that you're going to say, wait a minute, that doesn't sound right. Here it goes. John had the bad habit of chewing things when he was thinking hard. This morning, he had several things to think about. What had made the toothpaste taste like chocolate? What had made the orange juice taste like chocolate? Okay, so that was smoothly with expression. I, there was a question mark at the end of a couple of sentences, so you heard my voice go up. And I read it like Goldilocks, not too fast, not too slow. So here's what it would sound like if I read it super fast. John had the bad habit of chewing things when he was thinking hard. This morning he had several things to think about. What had made the toothpaste taste like chocolate? What had made the orange juice taste like chocolate? That was like, whoa, what just happened? Super fast. It doesn't give my brain a chance to really process and think about what it is that I'm reading. That's why we need to read a little slower so your brain can keep up with the thinking part because reading is thinking. We also wanna make sure that we're not reading too slow or maybe like a robot. John had the bad habit of chewing things when he was thinking hard this morning. He, I think you guys get the idea. Mm -hmm. That's first of all, boring. I'm boring myself, but it also doesn't make sense. I'm not able to really understand what's happening in the story if that's the way that I'm reading. All right, so um, that is just a little demonstration of reading fluently and reading like Goldilocks.